So I'm going to start off with just loading up some pink on my brush, uh, on my sponge, sorry. And I'm going to be starting in the middle. And I'm trying to see if I can get, trying to make sure you can see. Um, I'm going to be doing a round circle. So we're going to be going up and turning and then popping back down and filling it in. So almost like a, uh, a beam type shape, except it's not, the proportions, it does not have to be straight and in a perfect um, oval. It really just needs to come down. So very much similar to that. Then I'm going to, just with my sponge, I'm going to be um, probably going around this later, I'm going to do some ears off the three quarters of the way up, um, and just on an angle I'm going to pop a little bit of pink out. And the same on the other side. These are Olivia's ears. Just squeeze your sponge to make it a bit smaller. Okay, so we've got the basis of the of the of the pig happening here. Uh, if you want to, now that you've got Olivia in there, which we probably with because it's silver, we probably could could go in a little bit anyway. But I'm just gonna patch this, pop a little bit of silver in there. Okay. So we're on our way to getting uh, Olivia sorted. So now I'm going to grab my black tag and I'm going to use a number four brush and I am going to load that up because I'm going to be putting some eyes in. Prior to that I will actually pop in Red, the snout. So it's important to get these proportions right. Okay, so in, in the middle, um, yeah, basically in the middle, we're going to be doing a triangular shape as the snout. So we're going to just start at the point and pull down, and the same for the other side, and then just fill it in. Okay, like that. While I've got the red on my brush, I'm also going to pull in and do her mouth. So her mouth sort of will sit just underneath and it starts from one side. And just lightly bring this brush over and then flick up at the other end. Um, I'm also just going to put a few little highlights of red in the ears, so flick out from the ears. Okay, and I'm going to use the red to outline Olivia. So you just come down, straight down to the eyebrow, and Trying to do it so you can see. I'm going to go up and around the forehead. And also around the ears. Now her ears are a bit of a flowy motion. They're not straight backwards and forwards. So you just flow out. So, which makes it easier because you really just can do your own thing there. Okay, now we've got that part. Um, I'm going to go back to when, when I was going to do that black. Um, for the eyes I'm going to do it, it's just basically a teardrop um, and you just need to make sure you line up just down from the ears and you just do a press and the same with the other side. 
first. Okay. Um, now we also have to do that um, within the snout and these are a little bit longer so you're going to lightly pull down and then just a little press at the end try and get to try and get that snout in just darkening those up a little bit okay so Olivia's coming to shape and now what we want to do is um, just put a little bit of prettiness about her and also put her shirt on. I should have done this when I had the red loaded, sorry. Um, and we're just going to put, she's got a red and white shirt, so I'm just going to pop that around. Because this will actually section off the little piece under the eyes. I'll go in with the white. And I'm also going to go in with the red. So the shirt's sort of coming down a little bit. Okay. Now, um, the best thing probably to do with this is you can just leave it at that. Um, but I would probably go in and put some, she likes her red and pink Olivia, so I would probably go in and pop um, some flowers in. So I'm just loading up my brush with white. And I'm going to spritz the red lightly. Make sure it's quite dry. Take the tip of the white off. This is a tag red. And I'm going to load up the tip and I'm going to press down and do some flowers so I'm going to press 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 and I'm going to do that around Olivia so I'm going to do another one here press two it's always good to have five flowers around um, and I might even finish with a twirl down there so I'm going to do this this will not take as long if you're doing this on a kid obviously because I'm doing it in the mirror it does tend to be a little bit more difficult so I'm just going to pop the other flower in here okay and I'm going to dip in and put my centers to my flowers in with white. And I'm going to bring around um, here a twirl. So I'm going to start from this inside this flower and I'm going to twirl and bring it in. Twirl and bring it in. Okay. And finish with doing some beautiful little let's do some dots random dots around to fill in the spaces okay and there's my Olivia I hope you like it, and I'll see you next time for the next tutorial. Bye!